guys, I'm wearing my glittery wreath earrings from Walmart. How fun is this? Anyways, as you can tell from the title and thumbnail, today I wanted to share with you a holiday gift guide with skincare as the theme, of course. This is based on your request for a holiday gift guide, so I have put my, my um, brain to work in coming up with some things that I think would make great gifts for your loved ones, friends, family members, even people you don't know particularly well. Um, I'm someone who likes giving and receiving practical gifts, so that's not always the coolest thing on the table, but for me personally, when I receive a gift that's practical and that I know I'm gonna use, I, I really relish it and I feel as though the person almost put a little bit more thought into it as far as thinking about how it might play a role in my day-to-day -day life rather than just the kind of impact wow factor of it. So hopefully the products that I'm recommending in today's video, you'll find at least one or two that you might like to give as a gift to someone if you're struggling to find, to find a gift. Um, first up, duh, no surprise, I'm going to recommend sunscreen as a gift. It makes a great stocking stuffer. Unfortunately, as many of you know, finding a sunscreen that works for you can be incredibly challenging. Uh, many of them sting, burn, they're irritating, they leave an unsightly cast. So, it's a great idea this time of year to um, get a hold of some sunscreen samples and just give a few little samples of different types of sunscreens to your friends and family, etc., as a gift, like in their stocking, uh, if you do stockings, because that way they can try out a few different ones and if they don't like them, then it's not as though you, they, they're stuck with a whole bottle of sunscreen they don't care for. So I happen to think that is a great little stocking stuffer gift. And you know, if you have leftovers, you can always donate them to a women's shelter or a homeless shelter. They really need, um, you know, travel size products oftentimes of things. And sunscreen is something that there's definitely a need for. There are a variety of different sunscreens on Amazon that you can buy just as little single serving um, aliquots. And I know that's not the most environmentally friendly way to use sunscreen, but for trying them out, I think it is actually in the long run a good idea rather than investing in, in a big product that ends up going to waste. So there are two brands on Amazon that I really love that you can get little samples of. One of them is SPF RX 50. I think I talked about this brand in my cruelty free favorites video. You can get one ounce sample sizes. Um, I think you can get 12 of them or 40 of them. There are a variety of different packs of one ounce samples that you can get. This sunscreen is a chemical sunscreen. It's fragrance free and it doesn't have any oxybenzone in it. Now oxybenzone is a chemical filter that personally I find burns and stings. So this doesn't have that in, in there. So you kind of eliminate one potential stinger, if you will. Um, it's water resistant, sweat resistant, and it's cruelty free. So I love that one it doesn't leave a cast. And then another one that I really love is by the brand Zelios. It is a combination sunscreen, SPF 45. It has micronized zinc oxide, as well as some chemical filters for UV, UVB. It has octinoxate and octisalate. It too, like the um, SPF RX, is water resistant. Um, I believe it's cruelty free as well, but don't quote me on that. And this one is oil free. It doesn't feel greasy or heavy or shiny. So it's a good one for people who have kind of oilier skin and find that sunscreen just feels greasy and uncomfortable. So those are two great ones that you can get little samples of on Amazon, make great gifts. Another sun protection gift that's a really good thing to give and stuff in the stocking or you know just package up or whatnot is SPF lip balm. Um, that is uh, you know something that we all need to be using. And uh, my favorite is the Vanity Cream Lip SPF. This is a mineral lip SPF, and it also is great for chapped lips, dry lips, it's water resistant. It does leave a little bit of a cast on the skin of the lips, but it kind of changes subtly the color of your lips, and it, it almost, in my opinion, it kind of creates a nice glowiness that I happen to really like, and many of you have commented that you appreciate. So it's a great gift for both men, women, uh, and children. Same thing with the sunscreens that I mentioned. But one thing, you know, I've always said this, and it's very, very true, is that sunscreen is merely a small piece of the overall sun protection game. And the holidays are a great time to give and receive sun protective clothing. Sun protective clothing is su such a great investment. A broad brimmed hat, um, sun protective gloves, 
Uh, it's a little bit of an upfront cost, but you guys see me in my vlogs. I wear my hat and my gloves all the time, and you know, it saves me on having to put sunscreen in those areas all of the time, and it just gives additional coverage. You really, really need that. You can't just rely on sun sunscreen alone. So, um, you guys asked me a fair amount about my, where do you go here, about my Coolie Bar hat. Um, I love this. I'll link it down below for you guys, as with everything that I'm mentioning here. But uh, the quality of this is amazing. It has a really broad brim. It's collapsible, it's moldable, and importantly, the, um, the head circumference is adjustable. So if you have a larger head, a smaller head, you can adjust the the size with a pull, there's a pull cord inside. This really gives good, broad, you know, it really has a good broad brim to it, um, but then you can kind of bunch up the, the brim to peek out if it's kind of obscuring your view. So I really love it, and it collapses, folds nicely into, into your bag or whatever. So this is a really great one. This is for more for women. But Coolie Bar makes fantastic UPF hats for men as well. So I'll list some down below. I just happen to have this one for myself and I love it to bits. But Coolie Bar, you know, I, I love all of their products and they're really great quality. Everything I've ever had at Coolie Bar lasts forever and it's just, it just really holds up. So that is, that's a great one. And then a UPF 50 protective scarf. Now this may seem like a little silly, but I've recently found over the past several months that a UPF 50 protective scarf actually goes a long way. They have this great one that I've been loving from Amazon. It is by the brand North American Health. Um, and it's kind of this periwinkle color, but you can get other colors. And what I like about these UPF 50 scarves is that you can wrap them around your neck like a scarf to give good protection for your neck, but you can also drape them over your shoulders, over your arms. This one covers your arms. It'll cover your upper chest. It'll cover your back. I mean, it really will give good total upper body protection from, you know, kind of the neck down if you need, if you need that. And for me here in Houston, the temperature, the weather is all over the place and it can go from really cool to really hot this time of year, kind of back and forth. And so sometimes I'll find myself wanting to wear a tank top and then wanting to transition outside, putting sunscreen all over, you know, can, you know, you can miss areas. So these scarves have been really handy just to give you a little bit of extra coverage. I really love the scarves. And then another uh, UPF protective item of clothing that makes a fantastic gift for men and women are UPF 50 uh, protective gloves for driving for the backs of your hands. Um, and the Coolie Bar ones I love. And they're great because they have um, little grippies um, on the finger pads, so you can kind of, uh, you know, you know, if you need to access your phone screen, you don't have to take them off. I love these, and they have a nice neutral color, so they're not like super noticeable. Sometimes if you wear the white gloves, it's a little, you know, Michael Jackson-esque, I would say, but those are nice and, and subtle, um, and I love them. They're, they're great. So they also make the gloves for men as well. And then another one that you might consider that I think is really great, particularly if you live somewhere that's windy and cold, like Chicago, um, and you do a lot of commuting on foot, uh, you know, throughout a city, a good one is their UPF 50 neck gaiter. Yeah, this will cover the back of the neck and the upper chest, the front of the neck really well, but also you can pull it over um, the lower, two thirds of your face. I mean, it'll go all the way up to your eyes. So if you have this and a broad brimmed hat, that's really great coverage and you, uh, that's really great sun protection. Um, so that's really, really a handy way to go. So I love this. And again, like the hat, it's easy to, tra to travel with, to fold up and to put in your bag. So it makes a fantastic gift. Now, another piece of the sun protective clothing is going to be sunglasses, but sunglasses are not a good gift to give, in my opinion, because everyone's face shape is different, everyone's personal taste is different. Um, so instead, what I recommend doing is if you have a sunglasses retailer that you happen to be a fan of, get your friend or family member, maybe consider getting them a gift card to that place. Um, I happen to like Ray-Bans personally. Um, that way they can pick out a style that is suitable to their face and you don't have to go guessing, you know, that kind of thing. But a good idea is to put it in one of these collapsible, the, the gift card in a collapsible 
um, sunglass case. You can get these on Amazon. Um, they're great because it looks like a little envelope. You can put the gift card inside, but it will hold either reading glasses, uh, if, if you wear reading glasses, but also sunglasses. So it's just kind of a nice way to present the gift. You know, gift cards can feel a little, um, you know, not very personal, but if you have a nice kind of packaging, that too is practical, uh, you know, it's, it's a good idea. I love this because it doesn't take up space in my purse when I'm actually wearing my glasses, my sunglasses, um, and that way I always have it nearby and it protects them from getting scratched. All right, and then the very last thing in kind of the realm of sun protection that you can get as a gift, I think makes a great gift, is La Roche-Posay has this newer, uh, it's called My Skin Track. It's a wearable device that will track your UV exposure as well as exposure to like pollutants and humidity and give you kind of personalized feedback. And what I love about this is not only the information that it provides in terms of your day-to-day -day exposures, because that's gonna vary from location to location, you know, if you, depending on where you live and from time of the year to time of the year. So I love that piece of information that you get, but it's really discreet. I mean, I don't like a lot of these track, uh, you know, health trackers, health monitors, because I find that they're very cumbersome, uh, you know, particularly those that are often worn on the wrists. I have small wrists and I just find that like they're a little too, too in your face for me, but I love this because it's very discreet. You can wear it around your neck on a chain. It looks like a little, necklace that you know that's one way to do it you can clip it on your blouse or you can clip it on your bag so i really like this it's handy and you know for somebody who is not super aware of their day-to-day -day uv exposures and kind of trying to learn the behavior of sun protection i think this gives them a lot of useful information uh, they can then use to be more conscientious about their skincare and their skincare routine and sun protection so this is more on the costly side these run for like 60 dollars but you know i think it's a i think it's a useful and practical gift that people um, you know will will get some beneficial information from so not only is protecting your skin from ultraviolet radiation one of the most important things that you can do for the health of your skin, but another thing is getting good, good quality sleep. And that can be incredibly challenging for people, myself included. I have struggled with this since infancy to stay asleep all night. Um, but this past year, something that has really made a huge difference for my overall sleep quality, the number of hours of sleep that I get, um, has been this pillow by Sleep and Glow. Um, I've talked about it before, but it has made a huge difference. This is a um, memory foam pillow that is designed to support your face and your neck and your shoulder gir girdle optimally for sleep. It supports your face in a way that if you sleep on your side, for example, you don't wake up with swelling on one side from just kind of being squished. And I love the fact that the um, pillowcases are made out of either silk or tensile material, which will um, not hold on to uh, like your, your moisturizer or hair care products, won't absorb onto it. So they don't build up a film on the pillowcase that can then trap bacteria. The pillow, pillow itself is antimicrobial, so it doesn't harbor bacteria or fungi. Uh, this has really been a game changer for me as far as my sleep quality. I just am able to get very restful sleep. It's actually great if you are a side sleeper or a back sleeper. But if you're a stomach sleeper, I don't know how well this would work. Um, you know, and stomach sleeping is kind of one of those things where it does set you up for puffiness in the morning and there's no way around that other than trying to train yourself to sleep on your back. So a really fantastic gift to give somebody in terms of a skincare product is a no-nonsense heavy-duty moisturizing balm. No matter the person's skin type, they can benefit from owning a product like this. They can either put it on dry patches on the feet, the elbows, the hands, the lips, around the eyes. Um, men and women, of course, benefit from using a heavy-duty moisturizing balm. I have a video listing my favorites um, and describing them in detail, so I'll list that video down below. But one that I really love and strongly recommend um, is the Theraplex Barrier Balm. This is great because it doesn't feel greasy going on. Um, so I recommend this um, as a great because it's a great choice. Or another one that I love and I mentioned in that video is the Aveeno Cracked Skin Relief. 
But to kick the gift up a notch, I recommend pairing this with either a pair of uh, white socks or white gloves. Uh, so the gloves are socks that don't have any dye in them, in other words. And the reason for this is that if you put this on to the skin of your hands or your feet at nighttime in particular and cover it with gloves and socks, it really drives the moisturizer into the skin, into those thick, dry, stubborn areas where the skin is much thicker. Um, this is particularly fantastic for people with eczema. So you can get white cotton gloves or white cotton socks. It doesn't have to be anything fancy, but I have been loving lately these socks that I've been buying on Amazon by um, the company is called Remedy Wear. They make socks and gloves designed for people with eczema and they're on the pricier side, but they really feel luxurious. And I actually wear these during the day. They're kind of just like little trouser socks but they're made out of um, biodegradable material. They don't have any nylon in them or any, any latex. Some people can be allergic to those materials. So they're really great for people with sensitive skin. Breathable, comfortable, very soothing, and they're great to pair with a heavy moisturizing ointment or balm for dry skin care on the hands and feet. They make the socks, which I've been getting for myself, and I love them, they're really comfortable, but they also make gloves as well. So that's a really nice gift. All right, for the man in your life, <laughs> a great razor. I mean, women can use this as well, um, but I don't know, for some reason I have in my head that men need razors in their stockings. I just, I don't know, That's that, that just seems like a natural stocking stuffer for a man <laughs> for some reason. Uh, hey, here's a razor blade. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, I love the Gillette Fusion 5. I have a video reviewing this razor. It's uh, a really nice razor in that the way the blades are positioned and aligned, uh, it really allows for, it really gets at the issues with shaving around the irregularities on the neck where men are predisposed to getting ingrown hairs, nicks, irritation. Uh, so I recommend that, but to kick it up a notch, pair it with a fragrance-free uh, shaving cream. And one that I love is the Everyman Jack Shave Cream. This is free of fragrance, doesn't have any irritating dyes or uh, menthol in it. It's cruelty free, it is a good one. It's pretty inexpensive, you can get it like Target and whatnot. And another one that's really good is the Aveeno Active Naturals Therapeutic Shave Gel. So, you know, this is a nice little pairing here, if you will, and makes a great gift. Another good little stocking stuffer, small practical gift is antiperspirant. And I love Vanny Cream's antiperspirant deodorant, and I think this makes a great little gift to introduce somebody to Vanny Cream in the world of fragrance-free skincare and basic skincare. It's kind of a, it's almost kind of like a calling card for Vanny Cream, and I love this. This is an aluminum-based antiperspirant, um, so you know it works really well to reduce the output of sweat flow that contributes to body odor. Aluminum and antiperspirants is more than safe. I have a video talking about this but some people are do find it very irritating. It can be irritating. So if that is your friend, loved one, what have you, uh, that you're gifting, giving a gift to, consider getting them the Vanny Cream deodorant. It doesn't have any aluminum in it. It's a deodorant, not an antiperspirant, uh, but it too is free of fragrance or dyes or any of the common irritating preservatives or allergens that frequently crop up in skincare products. The way this works is uh, to rub it, uh, you know, to use it under the armpits right when you're sweating to remove that sweat. Um, it doesn't leave behind any kind of irritating residue, but just by helping to remove that sweat, it's almost kind of like having a damp cloth to, and, and by removing that sweat, it just reduces the amount of sweat on the surface of your skin that could then go on to be broken down by the bacteria that naturally live on your skin and cause body odor. Another small little skincare product type gift that I think is a lot of fun for men and women um, and you know kind of teens, adolescents is hydrogel under eye patches. Now these are not anything that's going to markedly change the overall health of your skin, but I do find that it is a nice little luxury for people to do at nighttime after a long stressful day, they wanna unwind. And I find they're particularly useful on a long flight for just keeping the skin under the eyes hydrated. Uh, check out my video on travel skincare. 
But boots number seven makes these uh, Insta Results Hydrogel Eye Masks that I reviewed for you guys a while ago. These are great. They're fairly affordable. You can get them at Ulta. If you want to go more on the splurgy end of things, the Color Science Total Eye Hydrogel Treatment Masks are also fantastic. They're just a lot more expensive. And then the third one is the Skin Iceland Hydrogel Eye Masks. Those are fantastic, you guys. Another gift to consider giving somebody that is great for the health of their skin is a cool mist humidifier. I get questions, why do you always recommend a cool mist humidifier over a warm mist humidifier? And the reason being that if your skin comes in contact with a warm mist, depending on the temperature of it, it can actually be very irritating and potentially even cause a scald, particularly if you have young children. So cool mist is always advised. I actually have two cool mist humidifiers. One, I have a large one that I'll list down below for you guys. It's really good. But one that I've been actually using a lot more lately, I have this little small travel one called the Novo Lido. And I personally think that makes a fantastic gift because it's so small. It's fantastic for taking with you on the go if you travel a lot, just to keep in the hotel room because you know hotel rooms can be super drying and wreak havoc on your skin. Also for somebody who maybe is going off to college or is in college and you know in their dorm room, it's great for that um, situation where you may not have a lot of space. Um, you know, it doesn't it doesn't humidify an entire room necessarily but it really gets the area around you where you're sitting and can really help the health of your skin it charges with a usb cable yeah it puts out a nice little small stream of cool mist to just humidify the area surrounding you and can really help keep your skin healthy and hydrated it's very portable easy to clean up and it also, um, if you want, I don't use this feature that much, but it also does some fun little LED lights on, on the underside. So if you like to have a little nightlight in a room, it's nice for that, but I don't end up using that. So I'll list down below the larger one that I have. I'm blanking on the name, uh, but uh, as well as the, the small little Novo Lido one, they're both fantastic. All right, so while sun protection is obviously important and good sleep is important, keeping the skin moisturized during travel and during winter time is important for skin health, let's not underestimate the value of a healthy diet and the health of our skin. We know that people who consume adequate amounts of fruits and vegetables uh, have a better, their skin has a, uh, is better equipped to handle the consequences of ultraviolet radiation. And eating fruits and vegetables that are rich in antioxidants can actually raise your minimal erythematous dose, which is the amount of ultraviolet radiation required to begin to damage your skin. So it's not something to dismiss. Um, but you know, I think for people, particularly young people, maybe you're just out of, out of college, somebody who's just out of college and is starting a new job, they're kind of budgeting for the first time. I think sometimes the idea of grocery shopping and budgeting for produce can be overwhelming. So a great gift, uh, which I know I always relished receiving, uh, it's very practical, is a gift card to your local grocery store or you know if you have a farmer's market that does gift cards. That is great, Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, whatever. Um, but to personalize it a little bit, I think a great idea is to put the gift card in one of these reusable produce bags. I love these Echo bags, I get them on iHerb. They're really inexpensive. But you can just put the gift card in there and roll it up and put like you know some festive twine around it and it makes a nice gift. But once the holidays are over, it's New Year's and everybody wants to do their new New Year's resolution and start eating healthy again. So having a gift card to buy some healthy produce uh, and you know a reusable grocery bag or produce bag I think set somebody up for success in those first few weeks of January where maybe you're you're low on funds after holiday spending but you have some new goals with your health in mind uh, I think that that makes a great gift so yeah that's everything on my holiday skincare gift guide um, I hope you all found these suggestions useful or helpful most of the stuff you can either get in your local Target um, you know, or um, Walmart, but you can also get them on Amazon. And if you have Prime, then you get two day shipping. So maybe if you are running low on time and you need to get it quickly, hopefully this provided you with some, with some ideas. I will list everything down below in the description box for you guys. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.